Disney's animated movies are some of the most beloved films of all time. Since Walt Disney rose to fame on the magic of his animated characters, audiences have anticipated every new big screen adventure. And The House of Mouse hasn't disappointed, releasing a steady stream of animated classics for over 80 years. That doesn't mean Disney's movies have been perfect though. Even some of the most adored Disney films include mistakes that audiences didn't notice. From continuity errors, to animation oversights, to plot holes, these mistakes are hidden in plain sight and really easy to overlook. In this video, we're shining a spotlight on some of the biggest mistakes from Disney's animated movies. Frozen Frozen is the most successful animated movie of all time, but that didn't stop more than one mistake from slipping by the filmmakers. One error that can be seen early on in the film happens during the song Love is an Open Door, Anna's romantic duet with the duplicitous Hans. At one point during the number, the duo dance at the top of a lighthouse. Their shadows are projected up onto the sail of a ship in a nearby harbor. But there's something wrong with the image. The floor's missing, so the couple are floating above the ground. Love may feel that way, but that's not the way shadows work. Another frozen mistake happens towards the end of the film when Hans tells Elsa that her magic ended her sister's life. During the scene, Hans doesn't have a weapon on him. Then as Elsa retreats onto the ice in despair, the sound of a blade being drawn is heard and suddenly Hans is holding a big sword. Hans isn't wearing a sheath though, so where did the sword come from? And here's one more gaffe from Frozen for good measure. When the people of Arendelle learn about Elsa's powers, they're horrified. And they seem to remain that way throughout most of the movie. That is, until the very end when Anna defends Elsa against Hans and the town cheers. Why the quick change of heart though? They weren't aware that Hans was plotting against the sisters and hadn't seemed to consider that Elsa could use her powers for good. Who knows, maybe after seeing Hans sword conjuring skills they decided Elsa's ice powers weren't so bad after all. Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. introduced us to the wonderful world of Monstropolis, a city powered on children's screams. In the movie Monsters Inc., workers Mike and Sully discover that children's laughter is actually a far more powerful energy source than screams. That's because a little girl named Boo stows away into the city, believing that Sully is just a giant, cuddly kitty. She thinks the monsters are hilarious and at one point during her visit, her giggles cause a power outage. The thing is, Boo laughs throughout most of the movie at Mike and Sully's antics. Doesn't that mean she would be causing power outages constantly? It turns out the filmmakers were well aware of the oversight. In the director's audio commentary for the movie, they said it would have been too challenging for them to tell their story if there was a power outage every time Boo laughed. So instead, the filmmakers ignored the power of Boo's laughter throughout most of the movie. Their decision makes sense, but that doesn't make this any less of an error. There's another mistake in the movie too. During the climax, Mike and Sully are chased through multiple doors in and out of various places across the globe. They go from Paris, to Japan, to Florida, to Nepal in no time. The problem is that the time of day in each place doesn't seem to mesh with the time zones as we know them. It's night in Florida, but midday in Japan and Paris. That doesn't make sense. Monsters University the prequel to Monsters Inc., Monsters University, includes a mistake of its own. In Monsters Inc., Mike jokingly tells Sully, You've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. <laughs> Yet, Monsters University is supposed to tell the tale of how the two best friends and co-workers first met in college. In Monsters University, there's no hint that these two knew each other before then, especially in fourth grade. Apparently, the filmmakers wrote a version of the script where the pair knew each other in fourth grade and then reconnected in college. It just didn't work though. So they deliberately ignored the line from the original movie to make the story of Monsters University work. Pocahontas Frozen isn't the only Disney animated movie that includes shadows with minds of their own. Pocahontas has a similar error. In the scene where Pocahontas and her best friend Nakama walk back to camp hand in hand, their shadows apparently aren't as friendly. The shadows don't match the people they're supposedly reflecting because it can clearly be seen that they aren't holding hands. Pocahontas has gotten a lot of heat over the years for its lack of historical accuracy. As it turns out, it didn't have a good grasp on how shadows work either. Beauty and the Beast 
One big gaffe in Beauty and the Beast throws the movie's timeline into question. In the film's prologue, we learn that an enchantress cursed the prince by turning him into the beast. If he wants to break the spell, he must learn to love someone and earn their love in return by his 21st birthday. Later in the film, we learn that the castle's inhabitants have been suffering of this curse for 10 years. And the Beast's birthday deadline is quickly approaching when Belle comes along. That means that the Beast was cursed when he was 11 years old. Yet, Belle finds a clawed portrait that shows the Prince as an adult human. If he's been a beast all these years, he's never been a human as an adult though. Also, who curses a prepubescent child for being a brat? From this perspective, the Enchantress's curse is serious overkill. Tangled Tangled tells the story of Rapunzel and her magical hair, yet even that magic couldn't completely rid the movie of inconsistencies. There's a continuity error at the end of the movie when Flynn reaches up to cut off Rapunzel's hair. In the wide shots in the scene, his wrist is encased in shackles. Yet when the movie zooms into a close-up of Flynn touching Rapunzel's face, the shackles have magically disappeared. The Incredibles The animated superhero family of The Incredibles live in a heightened version of the 1960s where superpowered people really exist. In his office, Bob Parr keeps a shrine to his glory days as Mr. Incredible, including newspaper clippings, posters, and action figures. There's a date on one of the newspaper clippings that doesn't add up though. That date is September 16th, 2012. Perhaps this is an inside joke among the animators who figure no one would notice. It's just another lesson to why filmmakers should never discount eagle-eyed fans. Mulan Mulan is the story of a heroic girl who takes her elderly father's place in the army in order to shield him from the burden. Yet before she leaves home with other things on her mind, she meets with a matchmaker. The meeting is a disaster from the start and things get even worse when the matchmaker's backside catches on fire. Without access to any other liquid, Mulan grabs a nearby pot of tea and throws it on the matchmaker, right in her face. Somehow this miraculously puts the fire on the matchmaker's back out and doesn't scald her face in the process. It's a funny scene, but if the same thing ever happens to someone you know, just tell them to stop, drop, and roll. The Lion King The Lion King is one of the most beloved movies of all time. It's even getting the live-action remake treatment later this summer. Still, there are several mistakes throughout the movie. Perhaps one of the strangest is the changing eye color of Simba's friend and love interest, Nala. When she's younger, Nala's eyes are green. When she's older, they look blue, except in some scenes where they're bright green. We've heard of people's eye color changing as they get older, but these quick shifts make no sense. Then there's another scene that involves the lovable Timon and Pumbaa. They're comic relief throughout most of the movie, and they use that sensibility to distract the bad guys during the film's climax. What do you want me to do, dress and drag and do the hula? When Timon appears with his back towards the camera, he looks like he always does. Then, when he turns around, he has flowers on his head and a lay around his neck. Talk about a quick change artist. The Lion King also shows some animals living in the Pride Lands that just don't belong there. These include leafcutter ants, ant eaters, and primates with tails that can be used to grab things. These species are all natives to South and Central America. The Pride Lands look like a pretty great place for animals to settle down, but these species shouldn't be anywhere near Africa. Cinderella Cinderella is a classic Disney princess movie. And in many ways, Cinderella's dresses are one of the movie's main attractions. After all, her ability to meet the prince hinges on having something suitable to wear to the ball. By the time she marries him though, maybe this is less of a consideration. When we see her running down the steps after the wedding, Cinderella is wearing a long sleeved gown. In the carriage afterwards though, her gown is short sleeved. Is this an error or is she just getting ready for the honeymoon early? The Little Mermaid Another beloved Disney princess movie that didn't get everything quite right is The Little Mermaid. Throughout the movie, there are a number of inconsistencies that might raise some eyebrows. For example, when Ariel slips into bed at the prince's castle, there are no blankets to be seen. In the next shot from behind her though, she's wrapped up in the covers. When did that happen? Also at one point we see Vanessa, who's actually the evil witch Ursula in disguise, climb onto the vanity in her room in Prince Eric's castle. In the process, she steps on a glass bottle, shattering it. In the wide shot of the vanity before this though, the bottle 
isn't there. So just like the covers, the bottle appeared out of nowhere. What is going on in that castle? If that wasn't enough during one of the most memorable scenes of the movie, Eric takes Ariel out for a boat ride. He rows the boat into a lagoon just as Sebastian takes it upon himself to serenade the couple with Kiss the Girl. Sebastian's ploy to get Eric to kiss Ariel is about to work. Yet when we see them staring into each other's eyes, there's something missing. Where did Eric's oars go? He used them to row them to the lagoon, but then they just... disappeared. He's not holding them, and wide shots from above show that he didn't stow them inside the boat. I mean, I don't know, maybe he threw them overboard, but given that he had to row them back, that probably wouldn't have been the best move. Toy Story Toy Story was Pixar's first full-length feature, and it was a huge step forward for animated movies. One of the biggest mistakes happens when the toys carry out their mission to get intel on all of the happenings at Andy's birthday party. In one hilarious scene, the green army figures use a baby monitor to report back to the toys in Andy's room about his gifts. The problem is that the platoon isn't using the correct half of the monitor. They have the handheld part, which can only be used as a speaker, not as a microphone. The part that can actually communicate is the part that Woody and his pals are using back in Andy's room. So the gang of toys wouldn't have been able to hear anything the soldiers said during the scene. Another question mark raised by the movie happens when Buzz Lightyear is introduced to the toys. While the others are well aware that they're toys, Buzz insists he's a space ranger. Yet when Andy and his mother enter the room, Buzz freezes in place along with all of the other toys. Why would he do this if he doesn't believe he's a toy? Arrogant Buzz seems like he'd be happy to inform Andy and his mom about his galaxy-saving adventures. Well, that's our list of some of the mistakes Disney's made in their animated films. Honestly, it's comforting to know that even the folks at Disney don't get it right 100% of the time. Just like us. Did you notice any of these mistakes before? Are there others that we didn't bring up? Sound off in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to The Binger for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.